Can you tell us your name? Frank Albert Santy, S-A-N-T-Y. When you were in the military, what was your rank and branch of service? I was a private and uh, I was in the Army Air Corps. When did you serve? When did I serve? Oh, I got to think about that. <laughs> well, let's see. I came out of high school. Okay, it was 43, 1943. How long did you stay in? Three years. Three years, okay. What is your connection to Southwest Virginia? What's your connection to Southwest Virginia, to where we live here? Are you from this area? No, I'm from Pennsylvania. How did you come to be here? I have a daughter living here and son-in-law, and I lost my wife up in Pennsylvania, so I came down to be with them, close by. I'm not with them, but I'm close by. So back to your military service, how did you happen to go into the military? Were you drafted? I was drafted, yeah. Okay. Where did you go into service? Where was the first place? It was Vandergriff, Pennsylvania. And what were some of your jobs while you were in the military? Well, <clears throat> I worked with uh, cadets, five cadets. And uh, I worked in these low pressure chambers where they, uh, I was like an instructor, okay? I don't know, that's about it. I mean, low, are you familiar with low pressure chambers? Yeah. Okay. Um, where were some places that you lived? Where did you live when you were in the military? Where did I live? I lived in Vandergriff, Pennsylvania. Is that the only place? That, did you stay there your whole time in service? Yeah, it was about the only place. Uh, How did you stay in touch with your family? I mean, when I was in service, just usually phone calls and sometimes write letters. Could you tell us about a memorable experience, something that happened while you were in service? I don't know. I was stateside all the time, and uh, yeah. it was about three years here in the States. I really didn't have much to say. So you said when you were in the military, you worked with these chambers. What did you do there? I worked in the uh, low pressure air chambers. Yeah. What did you do? I, well, we, uh, I was an operator of the chamber, but then I was also an observer. I don't know, if, are you familiar with them? A little bit. Yeah. And you know, it, it took about four, five, two, two inside and a five on the outside observing. Mm -hmm. And then you had an operator that operated the chamber. And you also had another operator that operated the, in case of an emergency, you had to take somebody out. There was another operator there. Did that ever happen? Did you ever have an emergency happen? Nothing serious, but uh, we, you know, first time you had to take somebody out. And so you always had this, what they called the lock. It was part of the cha main chamber, and you put somebody in there to take them out. It was all simulated altitudes, you know. Um, and finally, what would you like to tell the next generation about military service? What, would you, tell, again? what would you tell young people about serving in the military? What would I tell the young people? Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, I don't know. It's been quite a few years. <laughs> yeah. 
I don't think I would have much to say right now. Let me ask you one more question. The job you had in the military after you got out, did you still do anything related to that? No, I was, I was glad to get out of the service. <laughs> what was your civilian job? Well, I worked for Alcoa, the aluminum company, you know, and I was in supervision. I was a foreman, and I worked there for quite a few years. Okay, I think that'll do it. Thank you so much. We appreciate your time.